Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we have a pick a card reading. What should I do with my life? Now, I'd like to remind you that this is for entertainment only, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your life. Um, but maybe there's something in this that can give you a little bit of inspiration as to what to do to help you move forward. I've been stuck before. I know what happens. So that's what this reading is about. Um, for pile number one, we have a beauty druzy and the oracle card, strange companions in stranger places. Challenges? Use your imagination. Pile number two has a Pariba Chalcedony and the unending sadness of looking back. Endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. And there is another card under there, but you'll see it in the reading. You're the only one that got two of these oracle cards. And then pile number three, you've got the Golden Knight Jade. And mermaid in a koi pond. Rediscover your individuality. Become the dragon. Just don't let Bruce Lee know. Um, so go ahead and pick a pile. Pile number one with the Beauty Druzy. Pile number two with the Pariba Chalcedony. Again, I apologize if I say that wrong. I don't know a whole lot about gemstones. I am learning. It's uh, spelled P-A-R-A-I-B-A -A -A, uh, Chalcedony. Um, and then pile number three has the uh, the golden night jade Woo. pile number three pile number two let's start with pile number one the beauty druzy and strange companions in stranger places challenges use your imagination You have prosperity. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. Victory. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. Well, whatever you do with your life, pile number one, you're pretty much assured success. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who is loyal, dependable, hardworking, uh, but they're a little bit slow, a little, little slow moving because they want to check all the boxes and make sure everything is, is where it should be and that all the forms are filled out in triplicate and all of that. And so that takes a while. It's also an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And here we have the Page of Wands. This is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is someone who's exciting and fun. Um, they're, they're either younger than you or, um, they're a little bit immature. <clears throat> this could also be you, um, looking for something fun to do, looking for something new, something exciting. Maybe you've been working so hard that you just want something fun. But it looks like you put down whatever is not working for you. You, you set it down and you get ready to move on. Five of Athames. The Five of Swords or Five of Athames is a, a card about victory, but at what cost? Um, he's got these two daggers that he's going to trade in, but he's only trading them in for one dagger. You see? You're getting the, the dagger you want, but you're having to give up two in the process. So it's victory, but at what cost? Uh, this card, because of the peacock in the background, also cautions against vanity. Maybe you need to be aware of someone who's being vain. Um, I But with the victory card there, this just tells me... That I truthfully believe with the victory card there that this is just saying... You've been having a long go of it. You're looking for some fun. You're putting down something like a bad habit or something that's stopping you from moving forward. And you, you, you're victorious 
Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Chalices, Ten of Cups is, is happiness. I'm getting everything you ever wanted. You know, you're never going to go thirsty again. You got Ten Cups to drink from. You got a kid there. You got, you know, your spouse. Everything is good. Victory. <laughs> Six of Wands. Again, victory, victory, victory. Um, whatever you choose to do in your life, pile number one, you're victorious. It's going to happen for you. Not only are you victorious, you're going to prosper. Um, my suggestion would be, if you don't know what to do with your life, talk to a career counselor. If, if you're talking about career here, if you're talking about love, talk to a psychologist to see for yourself where you want to be, what you want in a relationship or in a job. Um, I mean, you're going to get whatever you want here. I mean, as long as you continue to work hard and try and make things fun, you know, you're going to be successful. I mean, victory, victory, victory. <laughs> it, you can't beat that. Um, what should you do with your life? Trust your instinct. Do the thing that makes you have fun. But something you can also make money off of. And put to bed the idea that you need to be something more. Be what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Forget what your mom says or wants you to be. Forget what your dad says or wants you to be. Be what makes you happy. Be and do what brings you to this place of feeling like a kid twirling around playing with a wand. Because if you're doing a job and that job makes you feel like this, well, not only is that victory, but is it a job? Or are you just making money off of something you enjoy? Which is what everybody wants. So, pile number two, whatever you do, you're going to be successful as long as it's something you put your heart into and enjoy. Uh, that's a, You guys are pretty awesome. Not a lot of people can uh, work that hard to get to where you're at and go through all that you've been through to get this victory. You deserve it. And um, thank you for stopping in and spending some time with me. If you like this video, leave a like. Um, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the video. Tell me what kind of pick a card reading you'd like to see in the future. Uh, if there's anything I could change to make the viewing experience better for you. Um, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I hope you have a really great day. You are an amazing person and you're going to get whatever you want. If you're feeling challenged, use your imagination. You're smart and imaginative and you're going to come up with something and whatever you come up with success. I mean, you've got it right there. Victory three times success once. I mean, you, you can't ask for better. All right. Pile number two, the blue chalcedony or the Pariba chalcedony. My apologies. You had the unending sadness of looking back, endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia, and two kittens. You must choose. You also have... Divine guidance, whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. Best possible decision, Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me find, oh, help me see what must be known. Success, success that's true belongs to me, success with honor, integrity. And friendship. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. 
You guys had a lot of oracle cards. All right. The Eight of Athames, the Eight of Swords. This is feeling like a victim. Um, either because you've been hurt by someone real bad or a situation real bad. Maybe someone's, you know, done something that's kind of made you feel like, well, like this. Like you're bound, like you're just trapped and you can't do anything or go anywhere. But the truth of the matter is there's an opening right here. She can walk right through. Um, her hands are not tied, tied. She could just pull them right out of this loose rope here. She's choosing to sort of stay in this position um, because of being maybe overwhelmed with fear. I mean, I'd be afraid too if someone tied me up, put a blindfold on me and stuck a bunch of knives around me. Um, so you're going through a rough time right now, it looks like. Oh, the five of chalices, the five of cups this is a card of mourning, of sadness, of leaving something behind. Typically, when you see the five of cups, you see three cups on the ground spilled and two cups off to the side standing whole. And the two cups are to remind you that, you know, this pain in right here, you still have your soulmate coming in, is usually how people read that because the two of cups is the soulmate card or twin flame card. Um, but in this card, you'll see she's got the three cups in the basket and then she's pouring out two on this gravestone here. And, um, she's mourning what she's lost. And maybe you lost something that made you feel, and, and it, now you feel a bit like a victim. Um, maybe somebody hurt you really badly. Maybe they, they stole from you. Not just, you know, objects and things, but if you really loved them, if you let them in and they, they broke your heart or they broke you, that could be what we've got here. Um, well, the cards are saying stay strong. Um, this is the crone in traditional tarot. This is strength. And usually strength is depicted as a young woman walking beside a lion, um, opening his mouth with her hands. Here, she is not a young woman. She's an old crone. And she's not opening his mouth with her hands because she's older. She's wiser and she knows better. She's not going to get bit because she respects this lion and she treats him with the respect he deserves. Maybe someone did not treat you with the respect that you deserve. So stay strong. High priestess, trust your intuition. You know what you deserve. You know you're going to have success. You know that you're being guided from a higher power. Whether that higher power is, you know, your higher self or the universe or Buddha or God or goddess or, you know, whatever you believe in, you're being guided to this. Two of Wands. A choice has to be made. You must choose. You have to decide what you want for your life. In this card, the Two of Wands... She's a weaver, and she's made all this cloth here, but she's got to stay at home and keep weaving, so she has to trust that this person is going to take this cloth to market and sell it at a fair cost so that she can recoup all the money that she put into this. There's trust, but you have to decide which way you want to go. Do you want to be trustworthy and take it to market, or do you want to steal it, sell it on eBay, and keep the money for yourself? Yeah, those are a little overly dramatic, but, you know, I see these frogs are going that way. Oh, no. Just, oh, yeah, these frogs are, one's going that way and one's going to follow the. So you have a choice of which direction you want your life to take right now. But you've got success up here. 
you've got divine guidance. Yeah, not divine guidance. You've got the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a card of epiphany, a card of insight, um, a new idea occurring that gives you a new view of things, allows you to see something that maybe you didn't before. Like the world, which is one of the best cards. It's the last card. It's a full completion. It's getting w to where you want to be. What should you do with your life? Pile number two. Stop looking at the past and what hurt you. Don't forget it. Because if you forget it, you're doomed to repeat it. But don't dwell on it. Um, trust your intuition. You're, you're being guided to the best possible decision. Stay strong. Make that best possible decision. And you're assured success. And apparently friendship. Um, you have this epiphany about what you want to do. Whether it's job-wise or whether it's relationship-wise, you know what you want. And um, go out there with confidence and go for it. I mean, like, don't just, like, grab someone and kiss them. Ask first. Consent is a very important thing. Um, but, I mean, success. Best possible decision. You're going to be okay here, pile number two. You have been through a lot, a lot of bad, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. Um, you've been challenged. But look at you. You've stayed strong. You trusted your intuition. You made the best possible decision. And you're going to come out on top. Because of everything you've gone through. Because of your strength. Because of your wisdom from what you've learned. Uh, that's pretty amazing. You're pretty amazing, pile number two. Thank you for stopping in and taking time with me today. I really appreciate you. Um, if you like this video, leave a like down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and um, if you have any questions or comments uh, about the readings or the way I do them, uh, what kind of pick a card reading you'd like, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. It was really nice spending time with you, pile number two. And I just want you to remember that you're an amazing human being. And you're going to be able to do whatever it is you put your mind to as long as you take the time to put the work in. Because you're assured success. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> you have a good day, pile number two, and thank you again for spending some time with me. Pile number three, you have the Goldenite Jade and Mermaid in a Koi Pond. Rediscover your individuality. Become the dragon. <coughs> Excuse me. Peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. I've been having a hard time. Justice. By the power of three by three, Ma'at deliver justice to me. And grace. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free. Um... I'm getting a couple of different things here, so I'm going to wait until I have the tarot cards out, and then I'll go over the, the different options that I see. The Three of Swords. This is a, a card of heartbreak, loss, betrayal. Um, you know, she she's coming here to meet somebody, and they left a light on for her, sure, but they boarded up the windows and got the hell out. So she's coming home to an empty house and a Dear John letter, basically. And um, she's heartbroken. I don't know if that's what happened to you. Maybe you got fired from your job without notice. This doesn't always have to be about love. You could have gotten fired from a job that you absolutely loved and adored with no notice. And um, that could be heartbreaking. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Athames. 
whatever happened, whatever heartbreak you encountered, you're putting it away. You're putting an end to it. You're saying it's done. You're not going there again. You're getting justice. It's done. It's over. Very graceful. Very temperate. Um, this is the she. Um, and yes, S-I-D-H-E is pronounced she. And um, this is the temperance card in traditional tarot. And it speaks of, of tempering yourself, of, you know, making sure that you're staying even and level and balanced. And um, that's great. It looks like you've been through a very difficult time. You've, you've been hurt really bad, but you've been able to, to push that out of, you know, out of your head and heart. You're done with that. You've tempered yourself. And now you're standing strong on your own, independent. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Um, typically, this card is depicted as a woman in a garden with a bird on her shoulder, surrounded by all these pentacles flowering in the garden. Um, but it's a card of independence, of, of wealth, of prosperity, of um, standing on your own two feet. You know, you, you, you've got a wife, you've got kids, you've got... You know, all of this going on and you did it on your own and you're prospering on your own because of the work that you've put in, because of all that you've done here, you're going to see justice, you know. The Knight of Chalices. The Knight of Cups or Chalices is an offer of love. Um, it can also be the perfect job offer. Um, it could be, um, the perfect offer on a house, you know, it, it, it's the perfect offer when you're standing strong and independent, when you've balanced yourself and put an end to this, you get the perfect offer. The lady and the Lord in traditional tarot, this is the lover's card. And, um, it used to speak of choices in love. It used to be a card represented with two women and um the point was you you had a choice in love but now we tend to see the seven of swords as that kind of thing and the lady and the lord tends to be a card about love about finding your perfect soulmate um it can also be about finding your perfect job you get the perfect job offer and it is the perfect job for you you find out once you're in there it's like absolutely bliss um, and you're, you're at peace. Um, last card, the battle wagon. This is the chariot in traditional tarot. And this is just a card of moving forward quickly and, um, success. I mean, success is coming. Uh, here we go. Let's see from, these are the options I'm getting. Peace, justice, and grace. You've been through hell. You have been through hell. You have tempered yourself to continue to be independent, loving, caring, giving, graceful. You're the dragon. You've been through this and now you're the dragon because you learned how to be who you want to be. The key in this lies in putting this past away. In healing this heartbreak. If you are having a very difficult time of letting go of someone or letting go of something, a job or a house or something, I would recommend that you talk to a professional therapist, psychologist, counselor, what have you, um, because they can really help you to, to put an end to things, to close that door, to lock up that box so that you never have to get into it again and it's over with, um, which can be very important, but you are going to be fine. You're standing on your own. You got a new job or a new love or a new house or a new, whatever it is that you're seeking. It's the perfect one for you. It just kind of comes out of nowhere because grace and you deserve it. Justice. You've, you've earned it by doing the hard work and putting this away. I'm really proud of you, pile number three. It's really hard 
to to put heartbreak like that down and put it away and move on to be the best you you can be and it brings you great success and I mean peace this is fantastic um what to do with your life well move on move on from the heartbreak temper yourself Get yourself to a place where you are feeling so strong and so happy and so loving yourself. Become the dragon. Get yourself to a place where you're the dragon, where you're strong and, you know, empower yourself. Because once you're standing here, once you're the, the nine of pentacles and you're on your own independent, you know, maybe that's just financially. Maybe you're married and you're, you're, you know, you haven't been working, maybe even staying home, taking care of the kids and you're finally going out and getting a job and standing on your own somewhat financially. Does that, if that makes sense, then that's for you. Um, but you're going to get what you put the work into. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for any pain you've been through pile number three. Um, it's rough and I'm, I'm sorry you've been hurt. Um, for those who are wondering which, which decks I used, I used Oracle of the Shapeshifters by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I used the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish and the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora and Kiri, Kiri Ostergaard Leonard. I hope I said that properly. Um, so... Thank you all for stopping in. Pile number three, if you're still with me, I just want to say thank you. And I love you and take care of yourself. Um, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. Turn on that bell icon. And um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what kind of pick a card reading you'd like to see. And thank you again for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. Um, I love you guys and I hope everything works out for you.